What's up, girl bosses? We got new Enterprise Earth. This is Reanimate, Disintegrate, uh, off of their upcoming album. We last heard where Dreams Are Broken, which I was a fan of, but uh, what I found was that it kind of divided the people quite a bit because Dan Watson had some highs uh, that people found controversial. Uh, Dan Watson, of course, like uh, Enterprise uh, Earth is on tour, but I don't believe Dan Watson is touring with them right now. I, uh, he had COVID. I think he's still recovering from it, um, like vocally. Because, you know, as a vocalist, if you get sick, that kind of fucky wuckies with you for quite a bit. Uh, but yeah, the last song, I, I enjoyed. I'll say it. I enjoyed it. I'm controversial. I say I say divisive things. But a lot of people didn't. A lot of people did. Yeah, we'll see what goes on here. Maybe the people like this more. And I, what, what I imagine would happen is, believe it or not, people have different opinions. So some may like this more than Where Dreams Are Broken. Some may others may like Where Dreams Are Broken more. But let's find out. We haven't even gotten into it yet. Uh, but before we do, I'd really appreciate it. If you like this video, subscribe to the channel. It's free. Helps me out a ton. Helps you find new music. It's free. All my social media links are in the description down below. You can follow me on Instagram, Twitch, Twitter for free. Uh, I live stream on Twitch every Friday, 7 to 9. Go follow me there so you can get notified when I go live. Again, every Friday, 7 p.m. EST, 7 to 9. Check out albums and shit. It's fun. It's a great time. I would strongly recommend you come hang out. We vibe! And let's vibe a little more with Reanimate Disintegrate. It is a six-minute song, so... The thing with long songs is being able to keep the attention the whole time. I like it so far. The iconic Dan Watson Meyerlore vocals. I think he's wearing the same clothes as in the last music video. This riff is chunky as fuck. Oh, got chunk here, somehow. Oh, I missed the blacks, man. Why does that base look so big? It looks like comically large. Dude, I haven't heard a Death Door song like this in so long. It feels like been a, it's been a while since we have this much chunkage. Oh, he's all gooped up for us. Mm. There's a really nice flow to this, and a nice progression here. They got the ambience. Ambience is key. It's key. It fills in the silence. Bro, how are you gonna get captured by monks? I'm just saying, like, some pussy shit. Like, monks don't even have sex. So, like, you just got beat up by virgins. I'm just saying. Not that there's anything wrong with it, but, like, just saying. Maybe it's consensual. We don't kink shame. I, maybe it's consensual. You could be into it, you don't know. They brought some pretty hard stop and now they're slowly building up again, which I like. Bro, 
What? When's it coming? Oh, there it is. No one does breakdowns like this anymore. And I'm saying this like a month later, <laughs> after the last time I heard something like this. Hmm. The ambience paired with this? Oh, it works so well. It also doesn't have a very like circular flow, it's a more linear progression. It's not just repetitive uh, sections, which makes sense for a 6 minute song. Dude, what the fuck? Also, that guitar is a beautiful guitar. Feeling a little thrashy right now? Where the fuck did this come from? That tone also, lovely. And then now we're back to that sort of intro riff. So I guess circular in a way. But unpredictable. They, wow, six minutes, and they, they filled that really well. They did that, they did a really good job, because with longer songs, sometimes it can get boring, but that, I think, uh, one of the major things that stuck out to me, uh, there, well, there's a few. Um, a, the simplest thing, the progression, right? Starting off really chunky, uh, and then bringing all that chunkage to stop, then building back up again into soloing and some other stuff, and then circling right back to that sort of intro chunkage. Uh, that's sort of the, 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 the riff, the intro riff, and I guess the outro riff. Uh, I, I like that a lot. It's really, really chunky, and that just kind of leads into the next thing I'd like to talk about. Just this brand of deathcore that, uh, you know, I feel like, I don't know, a lot of the latest deathcore bands I've been hearing, it's been leaning more on the hardcore side of things versus the death metal, and this definitely felt like it had way more chunk with lower tune in. I'm missing, I don't know why I'm saying I'm missing this or why. Oh, uh, I missed the old days of death course two months ago. But it just feels like, I don't know, for some reason it felt like, or it used to feel like every single band was doing this type of sound where it's just go as low as possible and just go as chunky as possible. It's like, dun, 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 or like, boom, boom, bun, da, da, dum, boom, boom, da, da, dum. Like uh, that type of riffing, those patterns, uh, it felt a little more prominent. I don't know, maybe even just like within the last year. But I feel like lately, from one of the, some of the stuff that I've been hearing, it hasn't been like that. There's been a, a little bit of a different approach, especially with like the uh, modern metalcore, modern deathcore sounds. They've taken a more groove-based versus just like pure heaviness, uh, where you're still playing around with the open strings and it's like uh, relatively simple, but um, you're you're kind of bouncing around a little more. It's more about funny noises, you know, the pick scrapes and the harmonics and all that. But this one was just straight chunk. And I, I feel like that's starting to go away a little, even though it's still kind of at its peak, because we heard a lot of that sort of uh, straight chunk. Even Infinite Annihilator still does that. And Infinite Annihilator, their playing is uh, quite uh, quite insane. But yeah, it's, it's, it's got this kind of cool old school deathcore sound. I think what uh, sort of makes it a little bit more modern is that um, the ambience sort of going uh, on in the background, that's sort of like high-pitched droning, the like that stuff. Uh, the ambience has definitely become a little bit more prominent, especially as, like, uh, a lot of uh, music has become more digitized in terms of, like, you know, virtual amps and virtual plugins and, uh, the, you know, VSTs for all these, like, uh, virtual instruments and all that shit. It, it, it's a lot easier to make, like, these very unique sounds. You don't need this, like, massive fucking, like, electronic organ rig 
that's just like a mix of like military technology and shit to make your noises like you did in the 80s like it's it's way more accessible and now that it's accessible it's like really nice to see bands like taking like these accessible tools making ambience out of it and then just combining that with some old school elements while still adding like a new twist i do think um technology and advancement of technology and accessibility to technology has really helped uh propel the uh you know just the modern genre of uh well i guess not just deathcore probably just all music i think uh, adding in electronic elements is logistically difficult if you're even going back as far as like 2010 just in terms of like um the processing power of computers and what you're physically able to do how much like software like this costs how much it costs to like make and access these sounds and stuff uh now it's fucking easy you can do it all for free like we have free DAWs, you got free uh, vsts and you can just like download any sound off the internet fucking remix that shit you can kind of get whatever you want it feels like a much more uh, straightforward path to creating ambience and even just like electronic rhythms because again we are seeing a lot more of an electronic influence in modern metal so what i really did just to sum it all up really neatly put a nice bow on it what i did like about the song a lot of old school elements brought back but still not in a way where you're like this sounds like it's from 2014 this sounds like it's from uh, 2008 it had like that nice like uh chunkage that's kind of uh, more novel to the deathcore scene because i feel like 2008 even 2014 everything was in drop a now we're in drop fucking double x z to the square root of seven um and then they combine this uh i guess it's more middle-aged uh deathcore sound with uh these like cool easily accessible electronic elements and ambience uh again great use of pauses great use of that great progression um but that's what really stood out to me yeah, a nice chunky deathcore song that I feel like it has potential to break the internet if it gets enough um, uh, of a running start, I believe. I did like that breakdown. Really chunky. The verse, the riffs and the verses were, were fucking sweet, man. Those were nice. And I'm excited to see what Enterprise Earth does with their upcoming album. I do think compared to where, was it Where Dreams Are? Yeah, Where Dreams Are Broken. I do like Reanimate Disintegrate better. It's less predictable. And it's just, it's just a, I think, a more enjoyable song. There's like no point where I could see anyone getting uh you know like I, I don't know about this he went straight Meyer lore on us i guess that's just how dan watson always is uh but yeah i really did like his vocals here the instrumentals were lovely he's lovely to describe, uh, describe deathcore way too often more than i should it, it, it kind of makes a scratch out like lovely i don't know about that uh but i did really really like the song what did you guys think let me know of course they got an album coming out uh in in, in the coming months so Look forward to that. I think this is a really nice uh, progression also for the singles being released. Uh, I do think that this is better than Where Your Dreams Are Broken. I think a lot of people would agree with me on that. Nice progression. Uh, it, it's got that old school sound that I feel like we've been missing for a while. But yeah, love you guys to death. Thank you for watching. And of course, I'll see you in the next video. I'm gone. No, Sean, goodbye.